if we have a differential equation of the following type where y prime is some function of x and y, some equation in x and y, then the slope of a solution curve to this differential equation at any given point x, y in the plane is f of x, y. In other words, the slope of a tangent line to the function is given by this formula f of x, y. And we can use the formula to calculate the slopes of the graphs of the solutions of the differential equation for any particular point on the plane that we choose. And if we calculate these slopes for many points, we can get some geometric picture of the slopes which indicate the direction that the solutions are moving at any particular point in the plane. For example, suppose we take the equation y prime equals y minus x. For any given x and y in the plane, for example, x equals 2, y equals 1, we can calculate the slope of a solution to this differential equation passing through that point. Namely, it's y minus x, or 1 minus 2, so it's minus 1. So any solution to the differential equation passing through this point has a tangent line with slope negative 1. And likewise, any solution to this differential equation passing through the point x equals 0, y equals 1 has slope 1 minus 0, which is 1, so this, it, the tangent line has a slope 1. If I have a solution to the differential equation which is passing through the point x equals minus 1, y equals 1, then it has to have a slope 1 minus minus 1, which is 2. Um, in other words, the slope of the tangent line must be 2. And to get some idea of what the graphs of the solutions to the differential equations look like, I can draw something called a direction field, and I can draw an arrow with slope f of x, y, my given formula for y prime, at as many points as I like in the plane. And the more points I'm going to include, the better the picture of the behavior of the solutions I'm going to get. And the picture given here is a computer-generated direction field for the equation y prime equals y minus x. So it draws a short arrow with slope y minus x for any given point x, y on the plane. So we can use this direction field to give a rough sketch of a solution to an initial value problem by following the arrows. For example, if I want to get a rough sketch of a solution to the differential equation y prime equals y minus x, where y of 1 equals 3. I start at the point x equals 1, y equals 3, because I'm looking for the solution that runs through this point, and basically I can follow the arrows to figure out where the solution is going. Let's see what happens when I draw a rough sketch of the solution to this differential equation, uh, which passes through the point x equals 2 and y equals 0. In other words, a solution to the initial value problem, y prime equals y minus x, and y2 equals 0. Starting here at the point x equals 2, y equals 0, and following the arrows, I get this lower red curve, which looks very, very different than the previous solution to the initial value problem, y of 1 equals 3. And in this way, we can get some idea of what the family of solutions look like by basically following the flow of the arrows. And here the computer has generated a number of solutions for us by following the arrows in the direction field.